Hola, gringos y gringos, and welcome to Gringos Are Us. Expats with a plan. This week, we're going to talk about our to-do list. This is the things that we had to get taken care of mm -hmm. administratively before all the physical stuff started to occur. Stick around. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everyone. So let's get right into the topic at hand. What did we do on our to-do list? And this started all the way back with one of our first videos where we said, these are the things you need to do to be prepared. I am going to post that video over here so you can check that in case you're interested in things such as apostille, um, getting your names right on your financials, etc. Okay. But this week is really more about the getting ready and going through the budget mm -hmm. and canceling a lot of stuff. Yes. You know, because as the last two weeks, as we have really gotten close to the end here, as far as our time here in North Carolina, we found that there was a boatload of stuff mm -hmm. administratively that needed to be done. And it takes just as long as the physical stuff. It does. And so we, we just spent the whole weekend pretty much tuckered out from last weekend to recuperate but work on these administrative things yep. just to make sure we have everything wrapped up i mean first the, obviously the first thing was is that gina went through the budget and mm -hmm. all of the the recurring monthly payments as far as all the the um insurance the utilities things like that club memberships yes automatic renewals and, and yeah. then as we were going through that, then suddenly it was, oh, we got to start looking at all of the individual credit card mm -hmm. statements because we had recurring things on there right. that some of it we're going to keep. I mean, you know, I'm not going to give up my ESPN Plus, right. Right. but I don't need the car wash anymore because yeah. I was a member of a car wash club. He had a car wash club and it was... Uh... And, and you know what? This guy, you want to talk about OCD, about a clean car. Every I'm day. paying for it, and <laughs> then I'm going to use it. Yeah. So but some of the things we got rid of um, that were pretty obvious and pretty easy to pick out right away were things like my subscription boxes. I had an Ipsy bag coming every month. I had a FabFitFun box that came every quarter. I had um, essential oils. Essential oils from um, Planet Plant Plant Therapy. That's what it was. Uh, monthly, I was part of their monthly club. Had to cancel that. Gosh, was there anything else like that? I don't know, because the only thing I had is ESPN Plus, and I do that once a year. You know, in my in my car wash. Right. That was it right. on my side. Yeah, I know. I'm the bad one here when it came to the boxes, but. Yeah. Oh, Record Club, Amazon Record Club. Yep. Had to cancel that. Um, but I guess that what we're trying to tell you is, is don't just go through what your monthly expenditures are. You have to start breaking them down also into checking each of your credit cards just to make sure right. that you get all of those hidden ones right. that they love. And, and some of them you also have to go through and go, oh, it's only renewed once a year. Yes, yes, that's and, big. And if that doesn't show up while you're looking at your credit card statements and it's scheduled for six months from now, yep. you could easily miss it and you don't want to have something pop up for $69.99 and go... A year from now. Oh crap, I, use. I can't even <laughs> use that anymore. Right, like my Amazon Prime. We're not going to keep Amazon Prime here in the United States, so that's got to go. Um, so what I did is I, I have maintained a budget spreadsheet in Excel for years, years and years. That she had to rebuild because yeah. of the computer glitch that we talked about last week. Fortunately, though, I had the old one from my backup in April 
uh, or sorry, not, was it April? I don't know. I had the old one from the backup when I got my new laptop and I was able to rebuild from that. Um, but what I did is I took that budget and I, I mean, I have this thing planned out 18 months in advance easily. And I know on the side, I have a list of every payment when it's due, if it's reoccurring, if it comes out of checking, if it's being paid with a credit card, I had all that already listed. And then I just take that information and I drop it in every two weeks, wherever it needs to be. And that's my budget. So I knew going in, I knew about things like Ancestry. I knew things like all the subscription streaming services that we have. The newspaper one. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. The newspaper one and, and the box things. And I knew, you know, one of them is Beachbody. Man, I'm not even using it now. But you know what? It's an annual subscription and it's going to be renewing down the road. So what I did is I went into each account. I looked to see how much it was, when the next payment is due, and how often it gets paid. And I went into my budget when it's about to expire, and I put cancel that thing. So cancel Beachbody on this day cancel Amazon yep. Prime on this day. And then if I already have canceled it, also on the budget, I have it listed, canceled. So I know when I did it. So I literally, my budget is like not just a budget at this point, it's a budget and a timeline of things that need to be done, basically. Yep. It's what it is. What has been done and what is yet to be done. Right. And I mean, I, even on there, I even have things that we signed up for. For example, we got Traveling Mailbox. That's going to be where we have our mail forwarded. Oh, and hey, if you look down below, there's a link if you're interested yes. in getting Traveling Mailbox. Um, please use our link to sign up. We get a little bit of incentive for that. It doesn't cost you any more, but nope. it does help us out a little bit. So you'll find that link below. And speaking of mail, the things that you are keeping, credit cards yes. and services that you are going to keep, then you need to go and change the address for all of those. Yep. And so yeah. what, we ba what we basically did was is we picked the date of August 1st and signed up for the service on August 1st. Mm -hmm. And then we transferred some of this early because when we go to get our driver's license in South Dakota, they require at least two bills that have the South Dakota address on it. Yeah. Well, our bank account has already been transferred over mm -hmm. and the credit cards have already been transferred yeah. over. So we will have all sorts of bills, we always do, as we all do, but we'll have plenty of them that have come in the mail that will be able to go here. Here's exactly. our address. Exactly. So yes, that was another thing on the to-do list as I was going through and looking at when things were due, when things need to be canceled. I did this even for utilities that were having shut off because the utility companies need a forwarding address for your final bill if you have one. So, oh, by the way, got the water taken care of today. Sweet. <laughs> so, you know, you had to deal with our gas, our electricity, our water. Um, the only thing I haven't dealt with yet is the car insurance, but that'll happen when we get insurance in South Dakota. So everything is being forwarded right now to our traveling mailbox in South Dakota address as far as U.S. mail goes. Yes. And then I also did a change of address with the United States Postal Service so that they're not only forwarding in case somebody gets missed, um, but see the forwarding is only good for a year. So the U.S. Postal Service does require that if it's going to be longer than a year, you need to do a change of address. So I've done that too. Oh, and by the way, change of address now costs money. Yes, it does. It was a very nominal fee. I'm not going to complain. It was less than $2, but it does cost you money now. and never used to. Nope. <laughs> so um, that was done too. So the to-do list. Let's see, we've talked about how we went through and canceled reoccurring of payments. We got a new address and started forwarding the things that we need to forward to the new address. Yep. Um, scheduled all the utility turn-offs. And, and basically, the, the to-do list 
also coincides with the timeline. Yeah. Because um, we had a timeline. So the other thing that we did this weekend is we started looking at the timeline, mm -hmm. and we went, okay, we are leaving here mm -hmm. um, two weeks from this coming Thursday, and we're driving to Kansas City, and we're doing it in three days because I'm going to be in St. Louis to go and watch the Cardinals play the Braves again because my nephew was here, as we mentioned one time, that <laughs> we did the Braves game here. Now we're going to do the Braves game in St. Louis. So we're going to drive halfway to St. Louis, stop for the night, and then we'll drive the rest of the way to St. Louis the next day, spend the night there, I'll go to the game, and then we'll drive the rest of the way to Kansas City, which is going to make for three easier days than the last time we drove to Kansas City. With no real hard work. No. So no. that's all good. And there'll be a Bucky's trip in there somewhere. You know it. You know that's going to occur. <laughs> so, hey, while we're at this little midsection here, can we please ask you if you are enjoying our videos, if you get entertainment value from it, if it's assisting you in any way, um, find them helpful, please give us a like, a thumbs up like there, subscribe, ring the bell, share with your friends. Yes. All those things are helping the algorithms on YouTube and helping our channel grow, which is um, which has been pretty amazing yes, to, this, it has. to this date. So thank you so much, all of you, for your support. It's been fantastic. And speaking of support. Yes. We have a new patron at Patreon, and you guys are just way too kind. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. Um, our new patron this week is Rosie in the Kitchen, who's going by the name... crush -o matic by Blamo. Blamo reminds us of Ronco. You remember Ronco. Ron Pompeo. With <laughs> Pocket Fisherman, spray on there. There isn't enough spray <laughs> to cover that head. <laughs> But we just want to say thank you very much for your support. Um, you know, every little bit is just, you're too kind. It helps. It does help. It helps us finance and pay for all the things we bought. Like, for instance, we're trying this video this week with a new camera because we're getting rid of all of our heavier, a little more outdated camera gear for something a little lighter and sleeker that we can use specifically for vlogging. So instead of using a cell phone this week, we're now using uh, a new little Sony camera. ZV-1, the new block, the new vlogging camera that is the rage of the industry, so. So we're gonna see how this works out. This is the first video with it. How do we look? <laughs> I'm also wondering how we sound. Yes, because it has this we directional have, mic. We have done this before. We have done the entire video. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, the very first video we ever tried to do in Ila Mujeres, did the whole thing and no sound. And that's because these Samsung Galaxy <coughs> phones, um, you have to use a USB mic on them. And in some cases, uh, the software or something in the phone doesn't like the mic in that way. And, and the phones don't come with a regular mic jack anymore. So yeah, it's a struggle sometimes. Although they have very good mics all on their own, but that's another story for another day. So let's see how this one works, this Sony camera. I'm excited about it. Yes. The other thing that we worked on this weekend was basically our timeline in Mexico. Yes. It On our to-do list was making the plan of how we were going to traverse the, the parts of the country that we wanted to see and we're not gonna share all that with you other nope. than you guys know where the first two are. Yep. But it took us the better part of three hours yep. of work to try and figure out, okay, we have four years of per temporary residency with the car. We have to hit all of these spots. And end up over and here. And end up where we wanted to stop at, at the right date. To return the car. Because once we get permanent, we got 30 days to return the car. Right. So we did it once and then suddenly realized that we were only halfway through the country in four years. Oops. Yeah. We, then, yeah. then we got smart at, because we do learn from our mistakes every <laughs> once in a while. Um, <clears throat> so what we did was we went backwards. Yeah. We put the end date in. 
We knew what the center, we, we knew where we were going to start in Carretero on these dates, and we knew we were going to be in San Miguel de Allende, and then we took the whole list, because I had already comprised the list and put it in, in somewhat of an order with drive times, and of course, as we started to work, we realized that we had to massage it, mm -hmm. and in the massage, we actually added two more locations. Um, it's Okay that we hadn't really looked at, that we suddenly started doing some research on and yeah. went, Yeah. Oh. These look pretty cool. We're going to add them. One, we didn't have to do a whole lot of research because we'd already been to it. But the other one, we went, Oh, this is... No this hints. Is, I didn't say. I just, all I was going <laughs> to say was, This one looks pretty cool. Yes. So we ended up working it from both ends and meeting in the middle. And... We're going to make a game of it. We're literally, when we start doing this, it's all going to be, where are we going next? And then after we get there, we'll just give you a clue of where we are now. And we've really got this kind of laid out. It's going to be fun. I just can't wait. And we actually also, on the to-do list, part of it was for the channel, um, figuring out a pattern mm -hmm. of how we were going to do things. And one of them is... is okay we're going to put the information available as far as our costs for each stay yep for so the entire stay for the entire stay yep. so that it, we can put a, a daily number so that you're able to compare the price of city a to city b yep and then when we get to um the next city we will be able to do a wrap up yep of where we were, the good, you know, things we liked, the things we didn't like. Yep. And then one of the other videos will always be, when we first get there, give you a tour of the here's, Airbnb. Here's the Airbnb. Yep. So that you have an idea of what and where we are. Besides that, I got to do that anyway. My mom always likes to know yep. a picture of <laughs> where it is we are at when she's talking to us. So, and, and you know what? We always really enjoyed the videos of people who are just walking around the neighborhood just showing you what the neighborhood looks like. So that will be in there too. We'll do some of that. Yep. And, uh, well, you know, and, and I want to say too, I know we already talked about the budget, but one of the other things, of course, is, is I've got an, an outlook male client with the calendar of course we have everything plotted out on the calendar too so the calendar is lined up with the budget and lined up with our travel plans of where we want to be um, that helps guide us through selecting the airbnbs we want to use obviously we can't look too far in advance but um, it certainly helps us keep things a little bit organized and on a realistic schedule because to be fair we do have to keep to a schedule so that we end up where we need to be at the end of our journey. Where we need to be, when we need to be there. Right. And we wanted to pull in specific things for specific locations that we were interested in. Yes. But again, not going to say where or when because that will give it away. <laughs> and there were a couple of events that occur in Mexico that we wanted to be in the right location when it did occur. Stop. You're giving away the clues. I didn't say what it was. I'm just saying. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. And besides that, I think it's almost two years from now when that occurs. So they may still not even remember then. So. Oh, goodness. Yes. Oh, goodness. All but, right. I think I think that's pretty much the, the wrap-up. I am going to be including um, some screenshots as we're talking. Uh, of course, by the time you hear this, you'll already see those screenshots. Just a couple screenshots of what that what the budget kind of looks like, how I'm plotting things out. Yep. Um, I guess I don't want to give too many details about the budget, but in general, but just so you can see what I'm what I'm saying. If you haven't guessed yet, we are spreadsheet people, or maybe I'm the one that's a spreadsheet person. I work do most of mine in Word. Yeah, you do. And then print it out because I'm just. I, yeah. Give it to me on paper. And, and you know what? I'm also using OneNote. You know, I never ever ever used to use OneNote and then I got turned on to it at my job um, because you can share OneNote with people you can send it in emails real easy uh, just all kinds of things yeah and well what I've learned that I like about OneNote 
is that you can open up your OneNote and you could literally have hundreds and hundreds of hundreds of pages of notes. All you got to do is type a few keywords and it will search all your notes for you and list the ones that you might be looking for. You also never used to use the cloud and now... Yeah, well, I never used to use the cloud <coughs> because I am not a big believer in things in the ethereal space out there having my stuff out there for people i just i always believe in having my own things and backing my things up and doing redundancy backups and so ever since this thing with the uh when the computer, when went, the computer down. went down and we lost a lot of things i decided to pay for an annual membership to the cloud which is money i did not want to spend but it is what it is so I already have over 300 gig on a one terabyte cloud account. And we haven't even started loading all the videos that are going to occur once we get in the country. You know. That's why we got the SSD backups. So that's where we're at. That's how we're doing things as far as our to-do list. We appreciate everybody taking the time to sit and watch us this week. Well, yes. sit, stand however you're doing it dance, riding dance, riding the bus dance whatever sitting in the rocking chair on well, the swing if it was going to be dancing while they're watching it that would be our granddaughter so <laughs> that's true yeah that was that was quite a performance she gave me yesterday so um okay and then the other thing i kind of wanted to mention was you know um we're getting to the point now where we are getting some specific questions that are being asked and we love that we love your comments and we love answering the questions but I'm kind of feeling like maybe we are at the point now where we can ask you is there something specific that you would like to see us talk about and do a video on? Well that's sort of where this one came from yeah, this, we had numerous came. people who were asking could you share the to-do list? And it was like, yeah, next week when we do the video. Right. You know, and I would love to do a video on traveling mailbox. I just don't want to do it yet because we literally just opened the account last week and I don't have any mail in the mailbox, so it'll be really hard to show you how it works if there's nothing there to show you. Plus, we also want to make the trip to South Dakota so that we can mm -hmm. tell you how that part went as far as right. combining the use of the mail service and the physical address yep. and how it goes as far as getting the both the driver's license and the uh, tags for the car. Exactly. So give us some of that comments. Absolutely. Ideas. If you've got something specific you would love us to do a video on, please don't be afraid to ask. You know that if we can, we will. Yep. Next week is getting ready for the estate sale. Yes, the estate sale. Coming up so, next week. Literally, like, literally 10, 11 days from now. Yeah. Yeah. So that's our video for the week. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Gina. And I'm Mark. And we are Gringos Are Us. Expats with a plan. We, we are, are doing, doing it. You, you can, can too. too. Hasta la próxima vez. Adios.